Welcome. This is Jenkins Governance Meeting. It's April the 20th, 2022. Great to have you here. Uh, agenda topics for today include items in the news, action, pending action items, question on the Ukraine invasion by Russia, Linux Foundation survey request. Oh, and then Gavin, the, the items from the forums and topics that I didn't put in there. Um, I assume you'd like that one. I don't have anything Any, to speak. Okay. Any other items that need to be on the list? Actually, uh, the I think you replied to a thread somewhere about uh, a Java exploit. Did you want to put that on the list at all? A CVE, uh, I mean? Maybe this one? Maybe. We'll find out when we get there. Yeah. Okay. So let's good. Let's let's be sure be sure that we we let's be sure it's there because I, there I I definitely did reply and I think it's worth a brief conversation if nothing else. All right. So news Jenkins two dot three three two dot three LTS is in is preparation in progress. Uh, thanks to Alexander Brandis as a release lead. This is Alex's first time. You may know him as not my fault from uh, GitHub. Uh, we're very grateful for what he's doing in UI improvements and his taking on the release lead role for this release has been very nice. It's great that we rotate it. We'll keep rotating it. Uh, thanks to Tim Jacome for starting the rotation and recent security items. So. Oracle released a critical patch update to deliver a new version of Java 11, Java 8, Java 17, and possibly Java 18. For, for the ones that are relevant to us, 8, 11, and 17. Uh, Eclipse Temerin is busily building those. So because we're based on Temerin, we'll wait for them to finish their build and verification process before we update our images and our components. The, uh, the, the CVE is described in the various places or the multiple CVEs are described there and we'll, we'll update to it as soon as they're available. And we, we have a release that, that uses them then. Any questions on the, on the Java topic or on Jenkins LTS prep that's coming? There's one more forum topic. Okay, so then next topic on security was the Git project released a security update on Windows for Git 2.35.1 uh, was the thing that had the issue. They released it in dot two and then did a further refinement in dot three. Uh, it's also been updated on a number of operating system vendor platforms in older versions. So older versions that match that particular operating system vendor. Uh, we've updated on our images and are going to go ahead and push those out as, as the, the natural flow of pushing them. Neither of those are actually, I think, significant risks to Jenkins users, but it's much easier if we use current versions so that they don't have to ask themselves, are we vulnerable? Same story with Git. LFS 314, it has an issue on, or it fixes an issue on Windows. Uh, as far as I could deduce, we're, we're not really vulnerable based on their description, but we're updating just to be sure. Open action items. I've got two open action items. I have not done them yet. It will be at least another week before I get at, on them. Next topic then was the Ukraine invasion by Russia and how it relates to the Jenkins project. And I have not yet done the, the status check on those two, uh, two items. They are these pull requests. So PR 5027, I think we could just as well look at them together here and see what the voting says. Okay, so we've got one comment here, a plus one for the Cossack image and this one has 
Okay. One that says plus one for the butler over the Cossack, another one for the butler over the Cossack. So I think in this case it would say, and another. So it would say we probably should just choose the butler. Any objections to us choosing the butler based on the relatively small voting population? No, I, I think it's like it, it matters that, you know, something is done more than the what exactly which which image exactly we we go for so yeah okay great so then then let's go ahead with gavin is that okay with you if we go ahead and based on the preferences expressed we'll go with the butler yeah i don't yeah i think you and i need to keep an eye on forms because uh i know when we deprecated master build agents uh there were a number of people who were let's call it trolling the forms so we just gotta keep an eye on that a little bit closer for the next week or so great thanks yes and let me make a note of that mark and gavin watch the forums Uh, in case of trolls or other disruptors. Good, okay. Oh, and I'm in the wrong place. Sorry, let's put this in the correct notes for today. Oh, yeah. All right, got it, thanks. Okay, so we'll consider that one closed uh, based on the, our having the three of us here. We've got a majority of the board available. Next question was Linux Foundation has asked to survey active maintainers of CDF projects. Um, the, the request was sent to several of us. They'd like to send the survey the 22nd and close it May 13th. Uh, my initial question was, could we use community.jenkins.io? But the problem with that is it's their survey that they're initiating. The alternative was we send the email to our maintainers, to active maintainers. And they then choose to, they choose to click the link or not That's without so us disclosing their email address. Sorry, Gavin, your comment? I said, sounds good. And Evelina, are you okay if we were to go with the alternative? Yeah. Okay, so approved to use the alternative. I'll need some help from the from the infra team because I don't actually have direct access to email addresses either. Even even to do a temporary one, but I've got I've I know we did it before oh, in notifying. Can we not so, just send it to the dev mail list? Uh, oh, that's a good question. I didn't. They they had used the term active. But you're right. Maybe we should just let me I mean, offer that's that because they they're thinking of the project in a different manner than it is, right? That, that may be, yeah, good. Um, I don't think there's any way for us to get email addresses. To everybody, the best way would be Artifactory or LDAP, and that doesn't. They're not very up to date. Right. Right. Yeah. So good I think, point. Whereas develop Jenkins developers list is 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 a, a much better choice good put it on the forums put it on the dev mail list and call it a day yes okay good i like that i will propose that back to them just to be sure evelina and gavin you're both okay with that technique we'll just use the dev list yeah, I think it uh, it makes perfect sense. Okay, great, excellent, thank you. Last topic then, forums and topics on forums. So Gavin, did I address the question you had in my earlier discussion of the Java Java update? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I didn't even follow it too well. There was a thread, I think this morning or last night, someone was asking about the new Docker image and I saw your reply. So I think that's all I wanted to cover and I think you did, so. Great. Yeah. So 
So there are other, certainly other Docker container updates that are, that are included in that Docker base image updates for Debian, Docker image updates for command line Git versions on the Windows images, those kind of things. So the, it's, a, it's a good thing for us to roll the images when new dependencies come out anyway. So this is good. And do you know offhand if the issue um, where it was only publishing one architect was fixed? It is not, well, it's not fixed fully yet because I've okay. seen a case where it happened again, but we are getting all architectures correctly published okay. for the fully qualified name. So that was another thread this week. Right, right, exactly. And that was, that's a good question. Uh, there are still cases where the short forms are missing AMD or ARM64. And uh, it's being investigated by the infra team. Good question, yeah. Anything else on the Java, Java topic or container update topic? Uh, I think, I mean, related, we got approved for more open source Docker stuff, I think. But uh, I don't think it'll affect any end users. I think it's just the internal infra stuff. Good, okay. And, and I'm not aware of the details of that, but I, I know that they were working that. So yeah. infra team is handling that. Actually, it's a good point on the, you remind me there was something yeah, what was it? Something else about Docker. Uh, it may come back to me. Great. Okay. All right. Then uh, in other news, the, uh, the, I had submitted a, a request to the developer mailing list asking to delay the selection of the next LTS baseline two weeks, two to four weeks for stabilization felt like there were too many regressions. Uh, 2.344 that was released on Monday fixes many of the issues. Uh, and so the, the release baseline has not been selected yet. But Tim Jacome, the release officer also has not, not agreed that we should delay. He's, I think he's still watching to see how good or bad things look as we make improvements. We're very grateful to Jan Faracic, Tim Jacome, Basil Crow, Alex Brandes, and a number of others for the fixes they've provided. Uh, 2.33344 needs more evaluation, but the fix list looked very promising. Oh, oh, I guess I do have another topic. Java, require Java 11. Is uh, looking good for the September LTS. So no more, no Java 8 support in the September LTS. Java 11, and right now we've got Java 17 preview already available. I hope by then we'll have Java 17 support full. Any question on any of those topics? No. Okay. That's all that I had. Gavin, any others from you? Uh, I was thinking the only other one is uh, I deployed a fix, no, a change to plugin site. So issues tab is not working again. And releases tab is a little bit more, uh, it should be um, processed the same way Git how Markdown worked. Um, so we switched from using the Java backend to a Node.js backend and the Node.js uh, Markdown plugins are a lot more um, 
maintained aggressively community supported so it, it yeah it should look a lot more like the same as github now and eventually we hope to do the same with the other tabs as well thank you so now that means these plugins can show releases and a it renders renders very nicely and the issue list is current yeah it does both github and uh, Jira. And the releases releases tab has been working for a while, but now it's like I said, a little bit more accurate to what you see on GitHub. There was a couple Excellent. of bugs with like new lines and stuff, and this just gives us higher, easier way to maintain in the future. So, excellent. Thanks very much, Gavin. Thank you. Thank you for the plug insight. Any any other topics we should review? I don't think so. Okay, I think we can safely call it. Uh, Evelina, any topics from you? No, no, nothing. Okay, let's call the meeting done. Recording should be posted in 24 hours to 48 hours. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Bye.